we're going to discuss how to properly adjust the AGC T control on the Flex 6000 series. If you look in your instruction manual for Smart SDR, on page 36 it tells you how to do it, but it is a bit uh, difficult to understand. So I'm going to go through the procedure. Now first I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it. And this is how most people do it. And I've seen it repeated over and over again on the, the Flex uh, conversation list on how to do it. And it's completely wrong. But what they do is uh, they will have the volume set fairly high and they don't hear anything so they turn up this uh, AGC-T control. Now let's follow my mouse over here. There's the AGC control and turn it up and you start to hear something. You start to hear your background noise. There's your band noise. And a lot of people say set that to where you just barely start to hear the band noise. All right, fine. Now, we're going to inject a signal. So there's your signal. It's not real loud. Let me turn it up a little bit. Turn the volume up to where it's more comfortable. Okay. Now, that's fine. Easy listening. But what happens when the signal is strong? Now notice now it's S7. Let's turn the signal up a little more. There's S9. Getting a little loud. I may have to back the mic off some. There we go. 20 over. It is blowing us out of the room. So what happens is, if you get this thing adjusted wrong, this AGC turned down too low, you don't have any AGC at all. Strong signals are going to be very loud and weak signals will be either weak or non-existent. Now that's fine if you want to keep your hand on the uh, flex control knob and program it for uh, one of the buttons for AGCT you can sit there uh, like this and you know run across the strong signal uh, you can uh, like this guy here so you can back him down with AGC it's just like having a manual RF gain or something that's not much fun so anyway here's the proper way to do it just tune in some band noise. All right. Uh, set your AGC on fast and turn your AGC T control all the way up to 100, all the way to the right. And then adjust your audio volume to a comfortable level. Okay. Well, you could tune in a very weak signal, but usually this is uh, sufficient. I think I hear my carrier in there. Yep, very, very weak. All right, now let's get off of it. Now simply slide the AGC control down until you notice a slight decrease. Hear that? So at about 60 we start to see a decrease. Now when it decreases that means you're cutting back on your gain on weak signals. So you want to actually set that slider right at the threshold of where the signal decreases. Now I've got a, a sound level meter hooked up here and I can see I can see where it is. I don't have to rely on my ears. 
and it won't hurt to get it a little high. So that, that's that's uh, yeah, that's about 69 or 70 right there. So now let's tune in our signal. Yeah, let's see, right here we are. There's our signal. Pretty weak. S7, S8, S9, there's 20 over. So I go up and down. There's very little change in actual volume. But I'm still able to copy the weak signal. And I can, if the, if the strong signal is bothering us, if it's too loud, just turn the audio gain down a little bit. And then all the signals should be fairly close to the same strength. Now, if you don't like the band noise in between dots and dashes, let's go to slow AGC. And that takes care of that. Here's a guy here, a moderate signal. He's about S8 or 9. Here's a strong one tuning up. So you can see no matter how strong he is, he sounds about right. So that's uh, the proper way to initially set the uh, AGCT. Thanks for watching.